Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda. I am 33 and I have a 12 month old little boy named Chase. Right now, me and my husband are on our TTC journey for baby number two. I am in my second cycle or second month of trying. So last month we tried and I had some weird stuff going on with my ovulation test and unfortunately we didn't get pregnant. Sorry if you guys can hear, we've got our landscapers in the backyard, so hopefully that's not too distracting. I'll link a video to last month's ovulation testing and I'll also link a video to my live pregnancy test. I had some weird stuff going on with that because I got some spotting and then the spotting completely stopped, so I wasn't sure if it was implantation bleeding or if it was just like a weird thing with my period. Obviously, I ended up not being pregnant, but I'll link that live pregnancy test video too. So today, I wanted to share an update, a very positive update about my ovulation testing. So I used the Clear Blue digital ovulation test, and I also used the Easy At Home strip test that you get on Amazon. In the past, I have found that these are a little bit tough to read and I'll get to that in a minute. But the clear blue ones, um, although last month I got some weird results, uh, this month I got some very positive and very accurate results, I, would, I guess you could say. So first of all, we started trying, um, I started testing, what day was that? I started testing um, with these on cycle day 10 and I started testing with these on cycle day eight, and that was just based on the instructions in um, both kits. So they give you a chart, so you basically look at a chart, and based on how long your cycle is, it'll tell you what day to start testing. So um, my cycle is typically like 28 to 30 days, so I think they say in that case you take the earlier one, so that's why I started testing. So just before I show you what my results were, I just want to mention that with the clear blue ovulation digital test, there's um, three different readings that you can get, and so you can get, I don't know if you guys can see this at all, but um, so low fertility will give you this like empty circle, high fertility will give you a blinking smiley face, and peak fertility will give you a static smiley face. So basically on the days that you get a high fertility blinking smiley face, um, you should definitely baby dance. And the most important day to baby dance is the peak day, so the static smiley face. And that means that you are likely to ovulate, I think 24 to 36 hours after that. So you obviously want to have the sperm already ready for when the egg is released. Hence why you do it on the peak day. Okay, so I would say that these clear blue um, digital tests are really, really reliable, easy to read, and I'll show you what I got this time. Okay, so first let's just look at the, um, the easy at home OPKs, and sorry if this is super light, it's um, a few days after I took the test. So that's why you can see, you can barely see some of the lines. So anyway, on cycle day eight, it was completely negative. Um, you can barely see that line right there. On cycle day nine, it was also negative, barely see the line. Same with cycle day 10 and 11 and 12. So I was getting like negative or low fertility for um, from day cycle day eight through cycle day 12. It wasn't until cycle day 13 that the test line was darker than the control. So basically when that happens, hold on a sec guys. Okay, sorry, I had to pay the landscapers. Uh, so anyway, what I was saying was that you get, you know if you have a positive test, if the test line is darker than the control. So on cycle day 13, and as you can see cycle day 14, it looks like both of those lines were darker than the control line. So based on those 
I um, assumed that I would ovulate within that time frame or possibly the day after, cycle day 14. Chase, what's wrong? You need some attention? All right. Sorry guys, I feel like there are so many interruptions. Anyway, um, so back to what I was saying. So I was not exactly sure the day that I was going to ovulate. I just assumed that you know, between cycle day 14 or maybe cycle day 15 um, was when I was gonna ovulate based on those tests. But I was taking the clear blue digital, which gave me a lot more of a predictable reading. So with the clear blue digital, on cycle day 10, I got a negative. So cycle day 10 over here was also negative. Cycle day 11, I got the flashing smiley face. And if you look on here, cycle day 11 was negative too. So even though I got a negative over here, I wouldn't have known that I was in high fertility had I not taken the clear blue. So then on cycle day 12, I also got a flashing smiley face, which means high fertility. Over here, cycle day 12 looks very negative. If I just took those, I would not know that I was in high fertility. Then on cycle day 13, I actually got the peak um, static smiley face. And then cycle day 13, I also over here did get the positive. So those two actually checked out. Um, so I assumed based on actually both of these that I probably ovulated on cycle day 14. So the stars um, mean that we baby danced on those two days. And those are the only days um, within this fertility window. I'll just show you, they use the blue dye with the clear blue. So here's what the lines look like, which is kind of interesting um, to see. So on cycle day 10, there was literally no line. Same with cycle day 11 and 12. You can barely see a line, but you can definitely see that dark line on cycle day 13 when I got that peak fertility. So this is super exciting because these results are from the clear blue specifically. These are the exact same results that I got the cycle that I got pregnant with Chase. So um, with Chase, I got you know a couple negatives and then I got two high fertility days and then a peak fertility day and I think we baby danced around the same time um, might have yeah I think it was like one of the high days the peak day and then I think we also baby danced the day after um, the peak day just to be safe and so I got pregnant and so I'm so excited that I got the exact same results and that's just giving me a lot of hope that maybe this month could be the month. So anyways, in the two week wait right now and I'm thinking that the next video that you guys will see is my live pregnancy test and I can't believe it, so crazy. So anyway, um, for all of you mamas out there that are TTC, I am sending baby dust to you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what cycle you are on if you're a TTC and what baby you're on, whether it's your first or you know your second or third. And um, I just love listening to other mamas out there and, and sharing my journey with you guys and also hearing about everybody else's journey. It's just, it's really awesome and it's, it's super exciting. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, I would love to have you come along the TTC journey with me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.